Greece to Persia to Rome to the Islamic Caliphate. There is just so much carnage. Why this little insignificant people have been so vehemently hated by so many pagan governments, kingdoms, regimes, and empires. In 1939, the Jewish population in Poland was 3.5 million. By the end of the war in 1945, that number had been reduced to 250,000. 150,000 Jews out of the 250,000 who were remaining. The church has blood on their hands. 3.6 million Jews was reduced to 30,000 over a period of 20. The Holocaust was perpetrated by Christians because of Christian. Quran is what they want us to do. We don't love them. The Muslims are the Muslims. The Muslims are the Muslims. Who are the Jews? Allah! The Jews have suffered. More suffering to come. This train of Judanos is again evolving. All the nations of the world want to attack Jerusalem. Where is merciful God? Where is He? メシアニックジュプブイジョ、ジョアンガティクバオトメシアニックジュプブイムダ。特にティクバオトのジャガチョポチョロマンドロトンキトクタキュメンタリーヤンワフェボゲソメンクチャンガネソアジョウネロンカ
And the call I felt on my heart was to establish that which was in my hand. What was in my hand was leading praise and worship. And I had experience in the 24 hour expression of worship and prayer together in what is globally called harp and bowl. I had actually served in Kansas City on the pastoral staff with 24 seven worship and prayer together when I was 18 years old for a year and a half. So God sent me and I began to serve and volunteer at a 24 hour house of prayer on Mount Zion on looking Mount Zion. And uh, within two and a half months, I was doing four hours every morning, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning on the grand piano, singing and worshiping God. And two months into that time, on New Year's Eve at midnight, I met Tikva, who came to bring in the new year with praise and worship, uh, the same desire as I had. And uh, we found that our callings were similar and that um, God had prepared us for each other. When I saw Tikva, I, um, something sparked in me. <laughs> and when she dropped me home that night and said, God bless you, John, I wanted to know where that strength came from because it mirrored something that was strong in me. I had spent five years thanking God for the beautiful woman that he would bring into my life. And when I asked him about Tikva in the days that followed, something came to me that weren't my words, and that was, her issue shall be blessed. What I took this to mean was that what comes forth from this woman will be blessed. And God was saying, Continue to see if this is confirmed. Facts on the ground. If Tikva will actually like you. If, uh, if your elders will agree. And if it continues to be confirmed, you're welcome to proceed. Because what comes forth from this woman will be blessed. I can say today, we do have two very blessed children. Mm. And the spirit of the Lord that comes forth from Tikva is a great blessing. Not only to me, but to many. Tikva 씨는 예수를 믿게 된 이후에 가족들로부터 굉장히 핍박을 많이 받았어요. 어려울 때 잔을 만났고 잔이 우리 티크바 씨에게 어떤 위로를 해주던가요? This is a prayer, a prayer answer. I prayed for my husband. I didn't pray every day, but I prayed for my husband. And when the Lord sent John, he's very gracious and very soft and very beautiful man of God. <laughs> so it's comforted my, my, my heart because I was alone. I was alone, no family, no connection. But as, as I got saved, I felt like the believer, they are my family. It's like, I don't know to explain that, but you are my family because we are one family. The body of Yeshua, the body of Jesus is one family. And I felt, with that the body is my family, but still I missed my family, my relative, my brother and sister and deep connection. But uh, the Lord brought a lot of good people to my life, an intercessor, friend or people connected. But when John, when God sent John and my baby is like amazing, amazing gift of God. He's a husband and children. So I have my own family now. So it's, uh, it's a powerful and I'm very grateful to the Lord. There was a big effect upon Tikva's family when I came into the picture because they were worried that she was going to be a nun because in their mind a Christian is a Catholic and uh, they were happy that she was going to have a relationship, be married and have a family and they wanted to be a part of that. So my coming into Tikva's life was helped to welcome her back into her own family. 브레드 TV를 많이 보신 분은 좀 이해를 하시겠지만 혹시 잘 모르시는 분들을 위해서 티크바 씨가 어떻게 예수님을 영접하게 됐고 또 영접한 이후에 어떤 어려움을 겪게 됐는지 그 얘기를 좀 잠깐 좀 해주시죠. So I grew up in a in a religious home, religious home that um, speak about the Father God and celebrate holiday from the Torah, five books of Moses and uh, Shabbat and doing all that the things, but without having relationship with Him. And as a young girl, I really longed to have a relationship with God. 
So I always want him, and he saw my heart, and he saw my longing to him. So he was so faithful, and I asked so many questions when I was a child, but nobody could answer this uh, question. And when I started to study by myself in the uh, age of uh, seven, the, the Torah, the five books of Moses, I really fall in love with God, God the Father. I didn't know Yeshua is existed. I didn't know about him. So, so I, with that longing and that desire, I just grew up. And uh, after the army term, somebody came to me in Elat, in the south of Israel, and he said, Yeshua is the Messiah. I said, Yeshua, who is that? He's Christian. I'm Jewish. No way. I cannot do it. He said, you know what? Come to that party. And it, it was a service, it was a fellowship. So I went there and, um, and it was a service. It was worship and sharing the word, but I didn't speak any English, so I didn't understand. But still, I start to cry and weep and um, I think the Holy Spirit start to work in my heart. And after that, he took me and he shared one-on-one -on -one with me and another like, group of people. He said, Yeshua is the one, this is the prophecy. Please take this book. What's this book? The New Testament. New Testament? I never hear about it. He said, please take it. So we fight a little bit. We argue. Ah, tzakot, screaming and stuff. But I agreed to take the New Testament and I took it. I took it to my apartment, went back to Jerusalem, and I put it on the shelf. And uh, after three months or so, I just took it back, took it again, and I opened. I start to read it. Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 till 17. The genealogy of Yeshua. And it was a revelation. I just knew that I knew that I knew that He is the one. But still I said, God, please, I want to see if He is the one. And I prayed, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if Yeshua is my Messiah, I want to see Him. And I cried, and I prayed, and I talked with Him, and I went back to sleep, and I saw Yeshua in my dream. I saw His back, I didn't saw His face, I saw His back, and He just, with His hand, He said, just follow me, come. I woke up in the morning, I told my friend that I rent an apartment with, I said, I don't have nothing to do with you anymore. I saw the Messiah of Israel in my dream, and I want to follow him. And so they called my family, and um, I find out, and I took my backpack and ran away from there, and I ran from city to city. I didn't have places to go so much. I have friends in Ramle, I had friends in Tel Aviv, I have friends in Jerusalem, so I run away from city to city and a lot but I was tired I said where I go now I don't have nowhere to go and I called my friend and my friend called my family and I said okay she will be there in that time that place so my family came my two brothers and their friends and my friends and they grabbed me and they took me to a van put me in a van and they drove to Bet Shemesh my family is living in Bet Shemesh and they drove me to my sister's house and they put me there and they said, okay, now no in, no out for three months, for a few months. See, if you're getting crazy, I don't want you to be in touch with the missionaries. And um, so they put me in that house and my sister's apartment with my sister and her children was a uh, was very long, quiet time, but it was very isolated. So, and after a few months, they saw that I'm normal. And they said, you know what? Now you can go. And I, they let me go. They burned all my clothes. They burned all my belonging, everything, everything. They took everything. And, um, but I still had the New Testament that Daniel gave me, and I hide it. And I had very good, quiet time with the Lord. I prayed three months, prayed and talking with God. And, and after that, they let me go. And... I start my walk with the Lord. I find the congregation and I start to study in the Bible study, Bible college, and then follow him. And and I and I knew that I called for 24/7 to serve him. This is my heart. John Otushi는 이스라엘 오기 전에 또좀 아셨습니까? 아니면 이스라엘 와서 메시아니 주들의 어려움에 대해서 알게 되셨습니까? I had done a a paper as a high school student on anti-semitism. Um, and got backlash in the grading by a liberal professor for doing that. But no, I had not experienced the suffering of the Messianic Jews in Israel until I came here. And 
when I married Tikva and married into the family of Israel, I then began to experience that same pain with a brother-in-law who was anti-Semitic uh, coming against Tikva and I. I now personally know sufferings of being a messianic and I can say I can see why they are the forefront of Satan's rage and bear the forefront of the attack but I also know that they have a destiny and God has provided us an amazing spiritual arsenal of weapons to fight particularly with praise with forgiveness with blessing and this is I believe part of why I was called with my skill gifting given by God to lead in these areas I was to join myself to the messianic community who needed them to overcome and to live an overcoming life by the power of the Spirit Amen. through praise and through worship deliverance with songs in the night 저는 이제 미국에 있다가 이스라엘에 와서 티크파 씨를 만나서 결혼을 했는데 아내를 데리고 미국에 가서 어머니 아버지께 또 인사도 드리고 갔다 오셨습니까? My family, uh, my family, my mother loved Tikva. They, um, we came and uh, were married in the United States. We had a special event for our Jewish family here, but uh, you must be a, a non-Jew and a Jew must be married outside of Israel to be recognized legally. So we were married in my family home uh, with all of the guests. Um, what we didn't realize was that we would um, then encounter some anti-Semitism from a, a new brother-in-law that has um, continued to provide painful ramifications through all the greater nieces and nephews. But um, my mother and sisters and brothers were very um, excited for me to be uh, joined with what they called an exotic bride. <laughs> John uh, is family from a very small city in Wisconsin. So it's somewhere there, very far, and not very well known. But still, in that small city, there are gathered people that love Israel, and they have meeting every Sunday in his home. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a home fellowship, home congregation, that many of them come together and pray for Israel once a week, every week, many, many years. So when I came there, it's like I saw that richness about Israel and the end time and revelation. It's a beautiful family and the, the community is beautiful and his mother is a special mama. For me, a, she's a queen, seriously. She, she loved the Lord, always with her Bible, always praying. <laughs> So she's amazing. I love her very much. John Otto 씨께서는 그 티크바 오트를 아내로 맞이해서 본인의 사역이 더 풍성해지고 더 깊어지고 그렇습니까? As the word says, two is better than one, and when two come together in unity, uh, we are more effective. So I was able to provide instrumentation, and prayer and song and tikva is able to provide insight in the prayer time together with me and singing and playing instrumentation with uh, rhythm with darbuka we call it in israel and tikva was receiving pictures in the prayer room and so we could this is her prophetic discerning gift and we can then pray into those pictures so it was we were more powerful united together in ministry and uh, now we have two beautiful twin daughters who also love to sing and to dance. I believe one of them a strong spirit of prophecy. She, she already, she's two years old and she's come to me and said, Abba, you are a soldier for life. God is all. And then began to go straight back into baby talk. And things like this, very significant with um, the destiny that God has for us to be servants to his people, to be filled with his spirit and to lead others in deliverance and joy. 남자끼리 좀 
여쭤보겠습니다. 보통 이제 유대인 여자 그러면 강하고 힘 세다 이렇게들 알고 있는데 아내로서 유대인 여자 어떻습니까? Jewish general, they are strong and tough. We have name. We call it uh, tzabel. How you call it in English? Cactus. Cactus. Cactus is very prickly. Very, because we are here living in very tense environment. It's like a war zone. You just park the car. You feel like you are in a war. So everything is very pressure, and the people too. <laughs> If you try to drive here, you will feel it very quickly. So yes, we are tough. But Tikva came to Wisconsin, and and she missed the pressure of Jerusalem. <laughs> she missed all of those people pushing and and Busy. and and intensity here, uh, because it can be addictive if you're used to it. And in fact, she said in Wisconsin, "Where are all the people?" And I explained they get into their cars and they go to work. Tikva does have, and thank God she had the strength to help me get through the process of citizenship, and uh, many interviews uh, over a six and a half year period with the Ministry of Interior. Um, that often could be difficult, and she forged the way with all of that. So I'm I'm grateful for the strength. But yes, there is an aspect. Of um, of strength and uh, force that needed my strength and force to arise to match it. But also, as a people, we we been through a lot as a nation, as a Jewish people, a lot of persecution and a lot of difficulties, and wars and uh, attacks. So this is why I think this is why we are so strong and it's like react very quickly. We are all serving in the army, so we are army people. So <laughs> everybody in outside is an army, is a soldier. Mm. Been in the army, or now in the army, or will be in the army. Mm. <laughs> so we are army nation. We are strong. <laughs> Sorry. 결혼 전에는 이제 따로 따로 각자 사역을 하시다가 요즘은 이제 함께 사역을 하신단 말이에요. 두 분이 함께 어떤 사역을 어떻게 하고 있는지 좀 얘기를 해주시죠. I love sharing Yeshua with Israeli. I love to speak about Yeshua wherever I go. And I love praise and worship. And I love intercession. And I love doing stuff to the Lord. I do everything because I love the Lord. So John brought very strong the the music, music and the piano and leading worship. And we do lead worship together as, as a watches. And um, I brought the dance. I lead women, especially women. I hope the men will come too. But woman to dance to the Lord, praise and worship in a dance. So what I I do, I take the worship and the dance to the street, and we go to the street and we dance, and this is how we share Yeshua. Also, I'm leading um, a moms group, moms with young children. We meet together, have a Bible study, a coffee, eat, we fellowship together, and we both leading a community group. Like uh, twice a month, every Wednesday, we have a community people that live not far from us, and we get together, have worship and Bible study, and uh, and so on. And John will share about the heritage. We're both on the heritage leadership team. It's a new Jewish heritage service that helps people enjoy the roots of faith and worship from the Jewish past right on through to the latest modern expression. Messianic service, 50% English, 50% Hebrew. So that's calling forth the Hebrew that I've learned over these last 10 years to help uh, lead and uh, direct this service, as well as lead praise and worship. Um, the community group is for the Messianic Hebrew speakers, and, and it's uh, particularly uh, studying the, uh, the Jewish scriptures, the Hebrew scriptures, and pulling out rich insights from there and encouraging and praying for one another in our faith. We recently were led a baptismal service for the ministry here, King of Kings, and we went down to the Jordan River, and after the baptism service in those yellow waters of the Jordan, Tikva was speaking to the two Israeli female soldiers who were guarding the border, and introducing them to the name of Yeshua. Uh, one of them saying, you know, I've heard about people like that and I want to have coffee with you and took her number. So Tikva is 
has learned to be instant in season, to be able to share about his name and share about his testimony of what he has done in her life. I think for all of us, is to we need to speak about him wherever we go. Whatever we do, I think uh, uh, sharing, sharing his name is, I think, the most... Uh, most needed. I mean, all of us need to do it. It's not just evangelists. And, um, so this is what I do. I also, um, some group coming from Tel Aviv to see Jerusalem as a tour, and uh, they bring him to here, and I share with them from the Word of God, and I share my testimony. So this is what I love to do. And we also um, I travel to the nations. The last uh, country that we've been is uh, Finland. We had community there that we, we serve and worship and like dance and sharing our life with them. This is what we live for the Lord. The Lord has called us to carry insights about Israel out and beyond Israel. We were in Switzerland over Passover, uh, mm -hmm. leading a camp up in the mountains with dance and with praise and worship and with um, strategies for outreach and, and what God has shown us and what we've learned from being here on the ground in Israel together serving in ministry for over 10 years now. We serve Israel and we serve, serve the nation as the Lord opened doors. Lately a lot of uh, Chinese coming also, so we're serving them too. And we look forward to Korea. Of course. 한국에서 이스라엘에 이제 방문할 계획을 갖고 있는 분들이 있다면은 그분들이 우리 전과 티커바와 함께 찬양하고 예배드리고 기도하고 또 신앙적인 교제를 나누고 싶다. 그럴 수 있는 기회가 있을까요? There are opportunities to join in dance at uh, Jaffa Gate with Tikva. There's an opportunity to join in the Jewish Heritage Service with us. Uh, but our normal, as we have just begun this new service, it's the first Shabbat of every uh, month. 5 to 7 p.m. in the evening here in the Celebration Center in the Cloud Building. And then there's, uh, yes, we welcome to uh, connect with you in the prayer watches. We are actually cross-pollinating in the city because we believe in the Congregation of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And so we've taken a watch at Sukkot Hallel once a week, Thursdays, 5 to 7 p.m. You're welcome mm -hmm. to join us there. And uh, also a, a group watch here in the prayer tower as well. So um, all this can be arranged and, and we are very glad for the family of God from Korea to come and to um, be encouraged by your faces and your spirits. Also we do Shabbat dinner at our place and we, we show like how Israeli, how Jewish people doing Shabbat with the blessing and the Israeli food. We love Korean food, <laughs> but we would like to show you what we eat too. Yeah. So you're welcome also. This is, uh, maybe you can put the email addresses. You can visit our website, it's www.johnantikva.org. Uh -huh. Thank you.